Okay, this is Nature of Science Lesson 4, and in tonight's lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate the magnification of a microscope, and you will learn how to care for and properly use a microscope. In last night's lesson, we reviewed all the parts of the microscope and their function. So let's continue. Okay, so how do we calculate the total magnification? Well, we take the eyepiece and we multiply it by the objective that we're using. Remember there are three objectives on the revolving nose piece. The eyepiece always has a value of 10 and the 30 objective will say 30 on it. When you multiply the two you get 300 total magnification. If you're using the 40 objective then 10 times 40 would be 400. So it's the eyepiece times the objective. And you will have to know how to do this for the Regents exam. Care of the microscope. Carry the microscope with two hands. One on the arm, where we said where that was last night, and one on the base, which is the bottom. Clean the microscope with nothing but lens paper and when we take out the microscope for the first time in class I will show you how to do this. Do not tilt the microscope. Always lower the stage. Switch to the scanning objective. The scanning objective is the smallest objective. And cover the microscope before putting it away. When we take the microscope out, we want to plug it in and turn on the light. There's a little on-off switch. Make sure that the low power objective is in place, that's the smallest one, and that the diaphragm is open. You'll know if the diaphragm is open or closed because you'll see how much light is coming through the stage. Place a slide on the stage, making sure that the object is over the condenser. That's the hole. So when you put your your specimen on the, the microscope slide, you want to make sure that that's right over the hole in the stage so that the light can pass through it. Then use the stage clips to hold the slide in place. You're going to turn the course adjustment knob away from you, so toward your partner, so that the stage moves toward the top. You can watch from the side, so when you start to turn the course adjustment, you'll see if the stage is moving up or down. And you want to make sure that you're watching so that you don't get it too close to the slide, because if you make it too high, then the objective piece will hit the slide and can possibly crack it. Use the course adjustment knob to get a clearer image while you're looking through the eyepiece. Switch to high power. So once you have it adjusted in low power using the course adjustment knob, you can then switch to high power. It's really important that you only use the fine adjustment in high power because the fine adjustment knob moves the stage just ever so slightly where the course adjustment moves it up and down really fast. So the fine adjustment we only use in high power, this way we won't break the slide. The field of view is the actual circle that you see when you look through the eyepiece. Depth, the word depth, gives you different layers of the specimen or the organism that you're looking at. Magnification means increasing the size. And resolution means how clear the image appears to you. 
you can see as you look at these numbers right here this is pretty large and then as you follow around they get smaller and smaller and smaller and to the point where you can't even see what it's saying anymore when you increase magnification what happens so when you go from low power to high power what happens to the detail well the detail increases because you're looking at it closer up what happens to the amount of light reaching the viewer well that decreases so when you switch to high power chances are you're gonna have to open the diaphragm wider so that you can see whatever it is you're looking at easily. What happens to the field of view? Well when we go to high power because we're looking at something closer up we actually see less of it so the field of view decreases. What is inversion? Inversion is what happens when we look at something in a microscope everything in a microscope is upside down and backwards so this right here this is the letter E that was on a piece of newspaper when we look at a piece of newspaper the letter E is going in the right direction and it's right side up when we put it under a microscope slide when we look at it it is upside down and backwards and that's all I'm going to cover tonight I'll see you tomorrow